Hello there, I'm Egil, Egil Thorson, warrior, runecaster, trader and of course storyteller. Before we get too involved, don't forget to press the subscription bell in the corner there and leave us a comment. So today I'm going to tell you a story from Scotland, Bonnie Scotland, and it's about the, the farmer and the mermaid, merwife. Legend has it that there are mermen and mermaids that live in the sea. So the farmer one day was walking along near the coast and then in the moonlight he saw men and women dancing and laughing into the surf and next to them were seal skins. The farmer thought, this is odd, very odd. I'm having one of those uh, she, um, sk seal skins. And off he went with the seal skin. And as soon as the mermen and merwomen saw him, off they went in the seal skins into the sea. All except for one very beautiful lady. Oh dear, I seem to have lost my seal skin. Don't worry, lassie. You come home with me and I'll treat you right. She had no option. So, for many years, they lived together. They had children, and he treated her as any husband did, only better. But sometimes she'd look out to the sea and sigh. Oh, I wish I could be out there. She never said it out loud. She didn't want to upset her husband. Her husband carried on working, grew quite prosperous. The farm grew bigger. He had more children, and the children would play and were happy couldn't ask for more and one day in the barn little Jimmy found the seal skin look dead my mummy look what that fern oh hen I've seen that many years ago away I'm playing now hen away you go she grabbed the seal skin and made off daddy daddy I found a present for me mummy what's that a scan oh no and off he went, trying to overtake her. And they got to the beach, and he was in time to see her donning the seal skin next to a big seal. Donald, go! The little mermaid looked at him and said, You loved me fine enough, and I loved you back, but I always loved my first husband more than I'll ever love you. May the gods be kindly to you. With that, the two seals dived in the water, which were never seen again. And as for the farmer, well, that, as I say, is another story. Well, it's beginning to rain here, so I'd best get under cover, and you had as well. So, as I say, it's a bit chilly as well. So, until we meet again, and the weather's better, Keep warm and happy. Far hill, and like I said. Who's that there? They went close. Hang on a minute. Who's that? Hello, Who's Braggy, it's me, Egil. Is that those camera people again? Yeah, you can't stop them. Have you noticed that man in the, behind the camera never, never says anything? Nah, I don't know. He's always quiet. Yeah, well, what can I say? What have you been doing? You've been filming again? Yeah, I've been talking about mermen and mermaids. Hey, there's a pond here. You yeah. one in the pond? Ah, uh, no, I think it's got to be salty and a lot bigger. Hey, there's a fish down here, Eggle. Is it, yeah? Goldfish? No, no, it's like a big fish. All right. We best get it for dinner. Get dinner? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, so we can smoke it. <laughs> Things like this happen from time to time, viewers. No, it's... there's no merfolk in that pond, mm. I checked. wonder if those merfolk were actually seals. Anyway, I'm off. You take care. Bye now.